Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to insert checkbox in Nezay. In today's video tutorial, we will be looking at test to column in Nezay. Test to column option in Nezay is available in the data menu tab under the data to section, okay, which is used to set Create test available in a say or column to the column by splitting them with different criteria. Mostly, this process is called the limit the, the delimiting process, where we split a separate test into column with spaces, comma, or any word or else we can use fix with option by which test will be placed into cells of the same row from the point we want to break it okay this feature can be found in the data tab section okay there is a section of test column feature all right there are two separate features of test to column we have the the limited this feature split the test which is being joined by characters comma tabs spaces semicolon or any character such as a, an hyphen okay the second one is the fixed width here this feature split the test which is being joined with spaces with some certain width all right now let's delve into how to convert test to column in the z okay let us take the example of order number however the names have first name okay and the last name format which have been separated spaces i want to separate the first name and the last name from each order number right here okay as we want to split the data in column a into two parts now insert a column between the column a and b okay right here in order to in, insert the last name okay portion of the test to insert another column select the column b right here and right click okay and then click on what insert okay or we can use the shortcut key control with plus sign okay note if you don't insert another column then the other portion of the uh, data will be oh, we overwrite our data in word in the column b N name the cell in name the cell b as the last name okay so that we can fill in the option there okay last name good okay okay now the next thing is that select column a here right from cell a2 to a10 as it needs to be separated and go to the world data tab right here you can see it right here and click on the test to column under the data to section okay a dialog box appears which has two options which is what the delimited and the fixed width option in the current example we will use the delimited as the number of character between the first name and the and the last and the last name here okay in the delimited section click on the wall next okay so once you do that and we can see that we have delimited means by which the text is separated in the current scenario it is separated with spaces uh, space so you can see it is separated with the bridge and clean is separated so what we need to do is that so we click on we check the space option right here okay good you can see 
below we have a little box where we can see how the delimiters will affect our current data or how our output will look like okay now click on next okay and another box appear which allow us to select the format of data we want okay again in the above save our data is test and we do not want to change the format so we we, we can click on one finish option okay there's another so just click on okay so you can see you can see so you can see that it changes the format so we can i uh, think the format right it, it splits the the first name and the last name into another column that is it also, also in Excel, you might have a data that you have extracted from an external source and it comes out somewhat something like this right here that I've, right here okay as it come out come out like this and like like the one I have uh, I have saved in the notepad you have you have this separated word by commas you can see the the ID is separated by comma, the name is separated by comma, the last name is separated by commas, and what the department also separated by comma. So now you can see there's a comma there. Now this data look similar that that any column you have here is separated by a comma, and you can take data into Excel and work it is using the test to column. Okay, so let's look at where we have it in Excel. I have copied this above data right here you can see and i want to separate i want to separate the them to different columns as i have here okay now however one basic function you, you can use here is called test to column and you can find it under what the same data tab and before you can you start convert a test to column you must First, firstly, highlight the section. Okay, okay, the section you want you want to work with. Okay, so good. Just like the test I have in the cell A two right here. Okay, all the way down to cell A twenty three. Okay, after that, go to data tab right up here and select the uh, test to column okay good so once we do once we do that under the data to section which is which is here now the wizards appear as an you to for two things which is what the delimited and the the, the fixed with data okay the delimited is usually used when you have the character separ separation and the fix with is you is when you have no character separation or you have each um each width with a particular fixed length but how as has a delimited character so using commas okay as you can see the data right here okay so we are going to click on the next option there since our data is separated with the comma then we will pick the comma option right here, not space like what we did in the, the previous example. So we are going to choose comma here, comma here, and you observe the changes below. You can see, okay, and click on next again. You can see that each column has been selected onto different columns. Okay, you can define each character for each of the columns. Is it test or is it the general is it by date that you can work with just click click on any any uh, the selection and once you are done then the then define the location okay define the location you, you want to put the data in the destination option okay in my own case i want it to be in the cell b to right here okay so i'm going to click on this then i'm going to hit on one finish button 
it is now separate it out for you and that is it so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving more of the excel function bye